Hey guys, it's Diana, aka San Diana. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys this makeup look. It's been a hot minute since I filmed a makeup tutorial, so I thought it'd be fun to kind of walk you guys through something simple and festive for spooky season. So I used a bunch of warm tones. A lot of these products are pretty affordable and yeah. <laughs> um, so if you want to see how to create this makeup look, stick around. Right now, my dog. <laughs> right now, um, I just have eyebrows on and then I have a bare face other than that. So we're going to start from there. Okay, so I actually got this in a Sephora sampler, but like I will be purchasing it in its full size because I've loved it. It's called the Fresh, um, like the brand Fresh vitamin nectar um, antioxidant glow water and so I'm just gonna start with this I really like I love it I feel like it's really moisturizing and it just like wakes up the skin so I'm gonna let that like settle in for a second ideally I would have done this before I put on eyebrows but I just felt like it would take too long to do eyebrows on camera so I just did them before <laughs> I have my beauty blender pre soaked or wet. <laughs> I'm going to be starting with a mirror. If I can open it. I just put dents in it, so that's fun. But I'm going to be using the hourglass. I don't know what this is called, the foundation stick, I guess in the shade linen uh i think it's a little light yeah it's slightly light just because i have a bit of a tan still from summer but we're gonna work with it just because i don't know we got bronzer and stuff we'll make it work um i i really love this foundation it's just so creamy and it's really easy to blend and it's really high coverage which i'm not really about I guess so I don't use a ton of it so it stays fairly sheer but it's super super buildable so if you're the kind of person that does want full full coverage it's absolutely attainable with this foundation stick by the way any products that I'm showing unless I say so I've paid for all of them there's literally like one thing in here that I was sent um, so everything on here is because I actually like using it. Um, next I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This one's super affordable. I'm pretty sure, like, you can get it at beauty supply stores for, like, a couple dollars. Um, I act, I seriously live by it. Um, the only concealer that I like better is the NARS. What is it? I don't think it's the Sheer Glow. I don't know. Whichever NARS concealer goes with the Sheer Glow, I love that one as well. It just, um, it's pretty expensive and I go through it really, really quickly. Funny story about my Beauty Blender, my original one. I had had it for a while and to be honest, like it was probably time to replace it anyway. Like it was probably gross. But, um... I guess it fell off my makeup table one day and uh, <laughs> my dog chewed it up. I will insert pictures here of the fluffy little devil. No, she's a sweetheart, but she likes eating things. Um, and my beauty blender was a big dumb. Basically, I just brighten up the center of my face. So I'm going to take my Laura Mercier translucent powder and... I'm going to bake it. I like flipping it upside down and kind of shimmy shaking it so I get a bunch of product on the lid. Um, so I basically just cover up everywhere that I just put concealer on. I get pretty bad smile lines so I like doing it around my mouth because if not it gets all cracky and gross. I know this makes me look like a crackhead but <laughs> just it's worth my nose and my forehead the same way. I just feel like it ends up 
looking a lot brighter. And honestly, I always keep my setting powder upside down just so I don't waste it trying to flip it over through my eyes. And this is the product that I was actually sent for free. Um, I talked about it in an unboxing a little while ago. I really, really love this product. I think it's amazing for its price point. I'm not going to say it's comparable to Anastasia or Huda Beauty. Like, palettes like that are obviously higher quality, but they're also, like, double, triple the price, if not more. <laughs> so, I mean, this is still a really good quality product for its price point, and if you are starting out, your beauty collection this is something i definitely recommend i'm gonna do my best to link everything down below I'm gonna start with the lightest color pat it down all over my lid i just want it to be like crisp and clean i'm going to take this color underneath it it's like a really warm orangey brown kind of color and i'm gonna put this all over the crease. I'm not going to be too like neat with this because I want this to be the outer like the color that shows through the most will define afterwards kind of thing. Okay so next I'm going to go in with this hot spot color elf shadow C brush. I'm going to use it. To, it's like very dense so I'm going to use it to pack on the red. I'm going to pat that into the outer half. Okay, now I'm gonna just take a fluffy brush and take the white hot that I was using earlier. And I'm just kind of gonna smudge that middle line just to kind of diffuse what's going on. I want it to be very seamless. And again, a little more of the hot spot. I'm going to take the darkest color on here, Smolder. Colors are really pigmented, so I'm just being really delicate because a little does go a long way with them. I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to wet like this very little like flat brush. And I'm just going to pick up one of the shimmers. I'm, I think I'm going to go with this one, Blaze. It turns like more chrome looking than shimmery dragging it from the middle to the crease just in the center section and i'm gonna blend that out afterwards with some more shadow okay i'm gonna take this dense brush that i used earlier just the tip with some more and obviously dragging it outwards just because <laughs> that's the way <laughs> the gradient's going. I'm going to take this shade Burn, which is like a darker red. It's kind of an in-between of Hot Spot and Smolder, so I feel like it'll be a good transition. Out from the shimmer chrome. Now I'm just going to take a clean, fluffy brush, and I'm literally just going to blend out all the edges. In eyeliner. I'll be right back. <clears throat> I did my eyeliner and my eyelashes. I've been using these Tardiest um, eyelashes. They are cruelty free and super cute and pretty affordable. Like for the quality of them, I think they're fairly affordable. They're like $16 or something. And I find I can reuse them like quite a few times before they get like <laughs> mangled. Like usually it's my fault when I wreck them. But next I'm gonna be just uncaking my face so sorry this is just like a flat top um, face brush and I just use this to get rid of all the powder that's been chilling I'm gonna go in with my concealer again just under like where my eyeliner is around there I'm just gonna smush some of it in like I don't put too much just kind of what's left on the applicator brush and then I'm gonna take a baby beauty blender and just dab around 
I kind of like the look of a little bit of eyeshadow under the liner, so I leave it. But if you like it very, very clean, you can of course put the concealer all the way up to where the eyeliner is. <laughs> I look so bald, other than my eyeballs. <laughs> um, next, I'm going to... Let's do blush. It was just a mini that I got with some Sephora order. It's in the shade Party. And it's the Amazonian Clay Brush. Blah. <laughs> blush. So I'm just going to get a fair bit of that and pop that on my cheeks and drag it out. Then I'm just going to take a big, fat, a big, fat, fluffy brush. And, like, from the side, I'm going to grab bronzer and I'm just gonna kind of shimmy that under where I applied the blush and then I'm just kind of gonna swirl it and push it into my hairline just so I look glowy and tan where is my contour contour brush so I'm taking this little fat contour brush and I'm swirling it in bronzer. So what I do with my nose, basically I just um, look at where the light's reflecting kind of the top of my nose and I shade in the under part of that and kind of smudge it out with my finger. And then I'm going to come in here and just do a straight line up. And same with the other side, just to narrow out the bottom part of my nose. Feather out this little bottom point and kind of with whatever's left, just do a little bit in the middle there, just to make it appear more of like a boom instead of like a thing. <laughs> After that's done, I take the brush that I used to take off the big thing and I kind of just go over it just because it still has a little bit of translucent powder and it'll, I feel like, blend it. I'm going to take a fluffy kind of... Mm, mm, <laughs> like, I don't know what this brush is called. I'm finally going to get my highlighter that I kind of wrecked. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to glow today, honey. So, I'm just going to put that all up here. And then my nose I'll do with my forefinger. So I just grab a little bit, like a dab, and then I will do a little dot and then a line. And then with the highlighting brush, I'll just kind of shimmy that out and drag it up to my forehead. <laughs> I don't know this one. And now I just have lips left. So since I went with really warm colors and it's fall and we love a good spooky season look, I am going to go with this, oh my god, it's tart too, <laughs> this tartiest lip paint um, in bling. And I kind of round out my cupid's bow a little bit just because I don't have much of one anyway. So I kind of feel like it's cuter to just kind of scoop. But that's it. That's the final look, guys. I hope you like it. Um, I'm super excited about fall and warm things. Um, I really want to start doing more makeup videos again. So please let me know if that's something you're interested in. As always, you can follow me daily on social media at Sandiana. Um, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.